Hello everyone, welcome to Paul Offshore Fishing. Doing something a little different today. We're going to talk about networking on a Simrad multifunction display. Uh, it's not going to be your typical, um, here's how to do it. It's going to be some theory because I don't own, the one I'm going to discuss is I don't own, but I'm, I've done some research on it and I'm trying to help a viewer out. So let's head inside. <laughs> All right, everyone, as I said before, we're kind of doing something a little different. Uh, real quick disclaimer, uh, Simrad is a product I use. It's, this is not a paid promotion. Uh, I had a viewer ask me a couple of questions. He's trying to uh, figure out which unit to buy. I think he's actually bought one. He's troubleshooting some items. Um, most of my experience has been with the Go series, however, and I think he has bought the NSS uh, series and it's, they're out with the Gen 3. Uh, when I got my Go series, I was more, I had looked into the, the Gen 2 NSS units. Uh, however, I went with the Go because it was, I felt like I had more options than what I was actually going to utilize. So with that being said, this video is going to be based on networking and I may have some errors there and I try to do a real good job at researching the material and going through. So real quick, I'm going to put the camera on and try to, I guess, illustrate what I think it's needed for this system for this uh, viewer to uh, look to in order to network his two units together. Uh, if I'm wrong, feel free to leave a comment below, but I feel like I've done my due diligence here to kind of uh, get the information. I'm not making a recommendation either one way or another, but with that, I, I'm just trying to help out. So, come on over. All right. Um, if I hadn't stated that, um, since I'm familiar with the Go series, I am familiar that it does not have network capability between um, multifunction displays. I'm going to use that term as MFDs for your multi. function displays. Um, the only way that a uh, Go series is going to network is through your, I pronounce it the NEMA 2000 connection. Now, um, all it's going to do is just standard bit transfer for that NEMA connection. So you're, you're not going to be able to look at a sonar, the sonar from another screen, so to speak, or the radar overlays. Um, being that the viewer was talking about the NSS version. Um, he's got two, he's going to have two MFDs in a system. Now what I would do uh, based on my research is I'd set up my two MFDs and I would classify one as number and I'm going to do this one number two and this one number one. Number one being your primary unit. And in the back, you should have a multiple set of ports for your sonar. And it's going to be your sonar transducer there. You're going to have another port for your radar. And I'll do a little symbol there, transducer there your radar and they're going to have their own cable systems also coming back and I'm going to bring this down and this way is going to be your uh, NEMA 2000 connection and then what I don't have in the go which the NSS version should have is a networking port that should be able to come over and network with your secondary unit. That's why I gave it number two. Um, I would also come off your secondary unit and this would be your network cable. I would also come off of that secondary unit and go to, uh, with your NEMA, go to your uh, 
NEMA 2000, and I the what the nickname we've always referred them to is the backbone. I can't spell, but your NEMA backbone. All right, what I'm going to do is take this and explode it up down here. And it's going to be a series of T connectors. And real quick, I'm going to insert a picture at this point of what mine looks like. All right, on your NEMA backbone, first thing is, and you got some end connectors here, your terminal pieces there. But uh, the first thing, I'm going to get it up in the, the frame here. But your first thing is going to go to the battery. And then you can run your engine, get data from your engine di diagnostics are going to come off of your backbone. What shows you what RPM, fuel, all that um, here. Now my engine, uh, my engine gauges are the digital Yamaha command link gauges. And all I had to do was buy a adapter piece that was pretty much plug and play. And so diagnostic uh, anyway you can spell check that diagnostics you can come off of here with your uh, autopilot computer it's going to come off the NEMA uh, if you had a trolling motor that required data from the GPS it could come off of here I'm going to add another one because you have uh, rem um, heading sensors. Or additional GPS antennas. Can feed into this NEMA system. And then here you can also get a connector and go to your VHS, VHF, excuse me, VHS, I'm not around anymore, your VHF radio, and you can lock, link your um, VHF into this backbone, and it's going to feed GPS information into your VHF, so you can have your digital hailing calls. Basically, if you get in trouble, your VHF radio can send dig or, uh, information over uh, the radio waves so people can come find you so uh, with that being said um, f what I've read and I'll post the uh, link in below but I looked at um, based on this information came from the Simrad NSS installation guide and I also referred to the manual for the networking the actual user guide or user manual and from what I can tell most the the new software now is pretty much plug and play. So once you plug it in, and I would I'd imagine when you get the backbone and the network cable plugged in, uh, these two sh units should be able to read and transfer data amongst them too. Uh, it should transfer GPS coordinates between them, and you should be able to pull off the sonar across this unit onto that um, screen right there. You cannot do that with the Go series. The only thing you can link these two units up through the backbone, but the only thing you're going to be able to do is, um, I think you can share uh, GPS coordinates, but like your overlays for your radar is going to be on that one in there. Whereas in the NSS system, that if you go ahead and hook one unit up as your primary and have everything hooked up into it, it should be able to network across and transfer everything over into the second unit. That's how I read it. Again, everything's going to be posted below. You can take a look at it, but uh, it's kind of a real dan and dirty brief of how, what I understand, what you're going to need to hook up 
your two multifunction displays, your NSS units in order to get these to work. So, uh, all right, before I go on to touch base on a couple things, like I mentioned earlier, uh, I'm running the, uh, or my boat has the Yamaha Command Link uh, digital gauges, so they already have an output there. I just had to get that adapter to come into the, uh, the NEMA port. I don't know how the link up comes up with Suzuki or Mercury Vessel View, unfortunately. I'm sure it's in the literature somewhere, but that's I'm not going to get into that because that unfortunately that's you're going to be your own private system. So or your proprietary system there. I know that Simrad ha has some sort of partnership with Vessel View, but that's all I can say about that. So I hope this help uh, helps you out. Uh, and if you're interested in these units, I would say the Go series and the NSS series are awesome units. Uh, as I stated in the before in the past, if I had the money to get an NSS unit, I would have gotten one. Uh, I think they're they got more obviously got more function or uh, more features than the Go series, but I've been very happy and pleased with mine. Uh, don't forget to check for your updates as soon as you get in there. You got to get a micro SD card and put in there and. Uh, make sure they're updated and your updates will save to the unit. With that, if you like my content, uh, if this helps you out, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me if you did. Uh, with that, we'll catch you next time and be on the lookout for some more videos. See ya.